Hello, back again. Now, I watch, you know, because I'm in, uh, I've got a workshop, I'm into cars and bikes and all sorts of stuff, and vintage bits and pieces. I do have the workshop there, and I watch quite a lot of car related um, videos on YouTube and everything. And there was a point, you know, where they go through various different stages of sponsorship, uh, things like battery chargers or boosters and all these sort of things, and they're highly recommending them, and they're sponsored and stuff like that. But anyway, <clears throat> I've got all those bits and pieces, and I've got the scanners and uh, OBD stuff and things like that. But what I didn't have was a tyre inflator, and I was reminded the other day of the the little small um, sort of uh, little battery-operated um, tyre inflators, rechargeable things, and I thought, you know what? They're quite handy. I, I think I'm going to get one of them. I, I've always liked the Fantic as a brand, but in the UK, they're not really, um, they're not particularly well known. I mean, they're, they're, they're out there in America, but they're a lot of money. And to be honest, they're made in the Far East. You know, they're all coming out. They're all chucking them out at the same factories. So, had a look through um, Amazon and came across this little beastie, okay? And <clears throat> I have already taken this out of the box because I wanted to give it a full charge. Now, it's really cold in my workshop at the moment, so I thought I'd go through this stage of it in my um, studio office, and then we'll go outside and pump up a bike tire, uh, a push bike tire, and check the levels on the car, inflate it, check the accuracy of um, this as well, to be honest with you. So I have charged it fully. Let me show you a nice little box there. Um, get your little instruction booklet. Okay, now there's your valve tube. Get that in there. Now there's a bag here with some bits and pieces in it. Let's have a look. That's the, oh yeah, that's the, uh, what we used to call it, a cigarette lighter cable, whatever, but not really cigarette lighters anymore in cars, is it? It's uh, it's just a 12 volt power source from the car. So that's that. Um, there's a couple of little adapters in here. There's like one for a football, or something else. There's a very strange looking one in here that I've never seen before. Um, not even confident I'm going to get this open. So, I uh, honestly don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, I do. That, yeah, okay. So, there's a little thing in there. It's a weird looking thing in there. Let me cut this open, actually. And then um, we'll be able to open the pack together. Let me get a knife. All right, hang on. I think... This weird thing, it might be for redoing the threads, maybe, on um, inside a valve, where the valve goes into the tyre, perhaps. I'm not, I actually don't know. I'll see if it says anything in the instructions on that. And there's also a USB charge cable. Now, when I tried to charge it, using my own USB to USB-C um, cable, it didn't work. And then I looked at the instructions and it says, use the cable provided. So, use the cable provided and it worked. I don't know what the difference is. I know both cables work. That's all that matters. So, and here's the unit. Okay, so let's put a tape measure on there. Oh, dirty old tape measure. So, oh, seven inches long. What, three inches wide? Three inches wide. That's okay. Bit of a beast. Um, USB, USB-C, and a power in for the uh, 12 volt from the vehicle accessory plug thing. Okay. Uh, you screw the pipe into the top there and it also has a torch 
I don't know what that's all about. Oh, there's the SOS thing, yeah. And then keep your finger on it for a couple of seconds, it'll go off. Right, so, I'll tell you what, let's take that screen protector thingy off. Ooh, the peel. Right, and <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is go out to the vehicle and get this all plugged in in a minute and then get it switched on and let's see how, how it goes. I do know it is actually quite noisy. I mean, not to the point that it's going to wake anybody up or any of that sort of stuff, but it, it's 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 not silent. But you know what? That doesn't matter. All we all we really worried about is if it can do what it says. Now, before I before I end this little bit, before I go out to the workshop, I've got to tell you, this was twenty two pound on Amazon compared to. A lot, it was basically the cheapest one I could find. It is plastic, not metal, but it does seem quite well made. Um, you know, there's a little bit of weight to it. And right, let's uh, let's go and see if it actually works and does what it says on the box. Right, now I'm at a workshop, bit of uh, warmer clothing on, pretty cold out here. Right, just a quick one. I opened up, I had a look in the instruction booklet and you remember that thing that we took out of the bag? Turns out that is an emergency hammer, okay? Now, what you do is you screw it in instead of that pipe and then you can use the tool as a hammer to smash through the glass to get out of the car. Fat lot of good that's going to be if you keep that thing in the boot. So, probably best to keep it in your glove box. Right, now then. I've put the um, I put a pipe on there, as you can see, and I'm going to screw it onto the tire and show you what's what. Right here we have it. So we're attached to the bike. I've let the air out of the um, out of the tire. Right now, I'm going to set this at. It says on the tire 35, but no, you don't. I don't need that much in there. So. Right, we'll press the middle button. A couple of seconds, if that, that switches it on. Plus button to select your pressure. So I'm going to take it down to, um, I think I'm going to go 23 PSI. It's going to flash three times. Then go to naught, and you push the middle button. And that's what starts it. You can hear it is fairly, um, I'm going to move away from that for a sec. It is fairly, uh, fairly noisy, but it is working. Don't really worry about the noise, do you? Just want your tyre blown up. So, we'll watch this live and then see if it cuts out at the preset amount, which is the important thing, obviously. And then we'll test on my analog gauge to see how accurate it is. So I set it at 23. This is going to uh, this is going to pump up to that. All been well. There we go. Nice one. There we go. Right. Hang on a minute. Let's get this unplugged and then check it with the analog. Right. Analog gauge time. So let's have a look. Let's put it on here. See what we're doing. See if we can get a accurate reading. That's not too bad. I mean, it's not dead on. That's letting a little bit of air out anyway. So that was reading 21. I think to be fair, this old gauge is knackered now anyway, but uh, it wasn't far off. Um, well, that's okay. I'm going to take it out to the car and let's uh, see what happens right. on that. So we're out on the car now. I've let the uh, air in the car down to 25 PSI, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is plug the pump in and see how much, uh, well, how long it's going to take to take it up to 35 PSI that it should be. Back in a sec, let's just get this screwed onto the wheel. Right, here we go. So we're on to the wheel now. Um, if I had to criticise this at all at the moment, I think this 
pipe here should probably be twice the length so you can put this down on the floor it doesn't quite reach the floor now i realize that the valve if the valve was round the you know round a bit it would touch the floor but you know you don't know where your valve's going to end up do you so anyway let's uh switch this on i'll take this up to 35 Let's go, let's, three, and five. There we go, let's see how long that takes. I don't see any of these being faster than each other, these machines. Might be quieter ones, it wouldn't be difficult. I've got a full size compressor in the workshop, but by the time I run run the pipes out, out the front, it, it's, I might as well just leave this going. The compressor does make a lot of noise, the one in my workshop. Just an old piston compressor, so... Right, we're getting here slowly but surely. It's been just over a minute. Not too bad. Still got full battery as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. 32. I set it at 35, so... Got another couple of minutes, probably. Back in a sec. Right, here we go. Almost there. Less than less than two minutes since I um, stopped it. So yeah, these things do take a bit. There we go. 35. Now I'm going to take the valve off and see what the analog reading is. Right, let's see how accurate this is. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's not bad at right. all. I'm back in the workshop now. Started raining, so uh, ju literally just as the tire filled up so there we go it works it did the job it was reasonably accurate i'm not gonna say it's pinpoint accurate i don't know how accurate this thing is to be honest with you so um 20 i think it was 22 pounds something let's say 23 quid and it's just probably 22.99 or something so um on amazon it's called a Servo Master Portable Air Inflator. I just looked for, I just searched battery uh, tyre inflator and this one came up. Like I say, you can see that you can gauge the size of it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, so I'm back in a nice warm office now, indoors. It started to rain, so I sort of cut that one a bit short out there. But... In a nutshell, it works, okay? It was £23, £22.99, so 23 quid on Amazon. I'm going to throw up um, a screenshot of the Amazon page at the end of this video, just so you can see, and pause it on that and get a get the description if you decide to go and get one, whatever. Um, I'm not going to put a link in or any of that. This is not a sponsored video. I, I don't have enough subscribers or any of that for that sort of stuff and i wouldn't uh have to do a sponsored video for something i you know just for the for the sake of it but i bought this and it's going in my car if i had any um anything negative to say you can't look they're all noisy okay so that's out of the equation you do get this bag with it which um, it will fit in with the accessories. 
Um, but I think you should have the option of maybe paying an extra fiver to get a solid little plastic case with it to put it if it's rattling around in a boot um, or, or the glove box, whatever. But uh, that's only my opinion. This did the job, albeit only on a bicycle and one car tyre. And the battery, was, which that meter there, was still um, showing full charge. So uh, that's fairly promising, actually. I'm impressed with it for 23 quid. I'll put up, uh, I'll put up a screenshot of the Amazon page and you can have a quick look at that and you'll know what to search for. There's more expensive ones out there. There's some that put a breakdown company's name on them and you can get them at a bargain store or whatever. But a friend of mine's actually got one of them and it broke pretty much straight away. It was really cheap plastic, fell apart. It was bigger, it was more bulky. This is quite a nice, pretty small little unit. So, um, hey, I just like doing these videos. It's something that I've bought and I'm reviewing off my own back. I've not been sent it, it's not sponsored in any way. I don't have many subscribers, only 400 and something. So you'd be doing a massive favor. It's free to subscribe. If you could just subscribe below, that'd be great. I'm trying to get my, uh, uh, as I say, I'm trying to pump those numbers up. Um, rookie numbers at the moment. I want to get up to a thousand. I want to, well, I think you can monetize at a thousand. That's not going to make me a better person or anything. But uh, I do want to try and get a proper camera for this sort of stuff. I'm just using a phone. I do it on a fly. And that's fine. But anyway, um, like I say, yeah, there we have it. And I think it's definitely worth having one of these in the car, whether you've got a slow puncture or not. You know, you just never know when you're going to have one and you might be miles from a garage. OK, also the other thing, maybe even put one of those puncture repair kits in. I, I think they're actually pretty cool. I might do a, a separate video on those. I've been using those for several years with great success. And... Um, Highly recommend certain ones of those. So, yeah, um, I'll catch you on the next one, I guess. Stay safe and look after yourself. It's coming near Christmas, the cold weather and all of that. So, uh, yeah, take care. See you on the next one.